So this is, you know, it's a bit of a long story, so we won't read the whole thing, but these two disciples, they had been followers of Jesus. They knew him closely, and, and of course, they were sad mm -hmm. after, after his crucifixion. And so they were walking on this road to Emmaus, which is not far from Jerusalem, and then this stranger appears, and they don't recognize him. Of course, it's, it's, it's Jesus, and he walks along with them, and, and, and they're, they're, they're speaking, and, and he opens up the scriptures to them and teaches them about the prophecies of the Messiah. And I love this, that at the end, as, as they've gone on their journey in verse 29 of Luke 24, it says, uh, they constrained him as they got towards their, their home, saying, abide with us, for it's toward evening and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break and gave to them. I was kind of uh, shades of the sacrament mm -hmm. here, right, that he's administering for them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. So he's gone at that moment, but they've had this encounter. They've had this experience with the risen Christ. And it culminated in a meal. It culminated in, you know, for us, that would be the, the sacrament. But it's, it's this notion where they've felt it. They've felt his presence. Even if they didn't fully recognize it mm -hmm. in the moment, they knew it was good. They yeah. felt that. And, they, and later they say, didn't our hearts burn within us? They felt the Spirit testify of him, and they wanted it. And they yeah. said, abide with me. And, and I think we can do that. Even if we can't always put words on it, even if we can't always fully recognize, when we feel those good feelings, when we feel the Spirit, we want it to stay with us. We want it to stay in our homes and with our families. Mm -hmm.